Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. The final video of our series of talking about the five stages of grief. I know, it's been a while since I've done that last. In fact, the last time I did it was May 14th, 2022. It is now June 17th, 2022. So it's been almost a, it's been over a month since the last time I talked about this. Um, either way though, let's get into our final episode of the talking about the five stages of grief, the stage of acceptance. Sometimes the most difficult one to achieve. But why? Well, is it though? Kind of a weird jump, isn't it? Well, the fact of the matter is most of the stages in the five stages of grief are supposed to happen before the stage of acceptance. But when you look at the details, it doesn't make sense. Denial obviously would happen regardless beforehand if it happens. For some people, they skip over that stage. Some. Most of us, it doesn't. However, anger, bargaining, and depression, you can't always do that without accepting a fact. Let's start with anger, for example. You've gone through the denial stage, and you've come to the realization that what's going on has happened. You've accepted that matter, but you're mad about it. Hence the stage anger. The anger is the retaliation to that madness, that frustration that what has happened has occurred. Same thing goes with depression. The fourth stage, or supposedly, you come, if you go in order, then, well, depression acts the same way. You've gone through this mindset, and, but instead of frustration, it's sadness. This sadness instead. But you've obviously already accepted it, otherwise you wouldn't be able to be sad about it. Well, what about bargaining? Well, let's put this scenario out. Now, the five stages cores from the loss of somebody. Somebody dying, originally. This person passes, and it's someone very close to you. Well, you can't bargain to get their life back if you, can't, if you haven't accepted the fact that they have passed away. However, there is a very big reason why acceptance is the last one. Sure, you've accepted the fact that they're gone, but you haven't accepted the fact that there's nothing you can do to get them back. That is why it's the last stage. And it's a tough one to reach, too. For many, many, many people. Some people, it's rare, but there are some people out there where that stage isn't too difficult to get to, but it still is a bumpy mindset. Some people go straight from denial to acceptance and bypass the other three stages. Some people go from denial to anger and then go screw bargaining or and I get it, fine, whatever. And then they'll drop a topic. It's weird. It's kind of, depending on the person, it's strange how this works. The two examples, by the way, I just listed are based off of people who I have met in the past, have no affiliation with now, but I have met in the past and have responded in these exact ways. But it got me thinking a lot. But once you do hit the stage of acceptance, full acceptance should probably have been what it was actually called, but once you do reach that point, it'll be like a weight is lifted. I've noticed this in a lot of individuals as well. Those who finally accept end up getting a weight lifted. They'll move on. They won't forget, 
They'll cherish the person, but they will move on with their lives, taking care of themselves and those who are still there with them. I think a prime example of this would be if a family member of mine were to pass away and I went through all the stages, by the time I hit acceptance, it means I would move on and I would start doing what I can to care for myself, care for, by that time, I can guarantee I'd have kids, and maybe grandkids, depending on who you're referring to. But by that time, if that would happen, I'd do what I can to make sure they're taken care of, and I'd do what I can to make sure Pink Fox is taken care of. Because that's all I can do. However, like I said before, and... Acceptance is a very hard stage to reach. And that's an understatement, but it is the case. It's unfortunate, but it is true. Anyways, these are my thoughts on acceptance. I don't want to go too long into it because I don't want to press too much on the matter. But what are your guys' thoughts? Let us know in the comments below. This is the end of the series of the five stages of grief. Discussing about this. Um, if you have another group of psychological type um, topics you'd like to talk about, let us know in the comments below. If you missed any of this particular series, click link on the side of my head here where it'll take you to the other four stages and this one as well. Or if you want to check out the other stuff that are on, that's on this platform uh click link on this side if i can remember correctly it should just be any old video that's on this channel whether it's the gaming stuff uh where i specifically either respond blindly to something or i derp off while playing something that i am i know like the back of my hand if not then at least the front of my hand <laughs> um but it'll be something like that. Something on the channel you may enjoy more. If it's not, then it should be the other series that we've done. I can't remember. That's how long it's been. <laughs> but anyway, thanks again for watching this video, guys. Make sure to this, give this video a like. And we'll see you guys in, in the next one. See you guys later.